This conference will now be recorded. Now we have a subject called uh, Autodesk AutoCAD. Okay. And here this Auto and CAD. This is split into two words. AutoCAD. And this Autodesk is a company which has produced an application called AutoCAD. Okay, I'm repeating Autodesk is a company which has prepared or produced an application called AutoCAD. Auto goes for automatic and CAD goes for computer aided drawing. This CAD stands for this computer edit drawing. This is basically used in the department of mechanical or civil architectural mechanical electrical civil or architectural parts. Okay, so now for our most important thing is civil and architectural because as we are into a journey of architectural visualization, the first part Photoshop is completed. Now we are into an AutoCAD. Now I asked you a question that can we do this drawing? Now for example, uh, this we have a drawings like this. Right now, this is a drawing which is done it in AutoCAD. Okay, I'll show you AutoCAD file drawing also. So this is there. Can we do this in Photoshop now? Anyone can tell me? Can we do this drawing? Whatever you are seeing on the screen in Photoshop. Forget about colors. No, only the drawing. I'm asking. Yeah, those drawings can be done it in Photoshop. We can't say no because this is a combination of lines. We have a rectangle, we have lines, we have fill color option, everything we have. Okay. So we can do in Photoshop, but why people are not doing in Photoshop, they are sticking on to AutoCAD is only because of the accuracy. In Photoshop, I can draw a line, but I can't give the value. If I want to dry, draw a line of particularly 6 inch or if I want a line of some 6 feet, exact accuracy value we can't specify in Photoshop. That's why people will stick on to AutoCAD only because of the accuracy. Okay, so because of this accuracy of the value and even the drawing, so people will use AutoCAD. Okay, and all these three, whatever I said, mechanical, electrical, or civil or architectural, we can do 2D as well as 3D. Now, in general, what do you mean by 2D and 3D? Forget about AutoCAD, Photoshop, and everything. In general, what do you know about 2D and 3D? Have you heard anywhere? What is 2D and what is 3D? Have you heard this word 2D and 3D? Yes, sir. Where? So basic common thing I'll tell you that's where you, you can see these things in for example movies okay we have a movie of 2d movie we have and we have a 3d movie what is the difference between 2d movie and 3d movie
Any answer? Have you watched any 3D movie in theater? Yes, sir. Yeah, what is the difference than 2D and 3D? What is the feel? In 3D movies, uh, the objects will be so closer, sir. Like, yeah. it'll appear closer. Yes, right. So, object will be appear closer and it feels like it's nearby. And 2D, it's a flat. Okay. Now, for example, uh, this is there. I have this drawing. Now, this is 2D. If we have a depth to an object, same drawing, I'm adding a depth to an object. So, we can so we see it in different dimension. If we have 1, 2, 3. So now this we have a 3D. This is what you have it in the same phenomena will be applicable for the cinema also. So you can watch it nearby. So whenever the object has any depth, that is 3D. If the object is not having any depth, if it is flat, that is 2D, two dimensional and three dimensional, that is in general words. But when it comes to a maths or anything like AutoCAD, anything, if we have like this, this is x and this is y so this is 2d same way same x y and we have an axis called z okay so now this is 3d and this is 2d okay you understood Yes, sir. So now we have drawing methods of AutoCAD. So take a pen and pen of paper along with me. We have drawing methods of AutoCAD. The first method is RCS, okay, stands for Rectangular Coordinate System. Rectangular Coordinate <coughs> System. This can be used if we know the x and y axis. Okay, in a drawing, if we know at the x and y axis or x and y the coordinates. Now, for example, I have a line. This is x1. And this is y1 and this is x2 and this is y2 if I have a value like this from this point to this point if I have a values like this so directly we can say is that this can be done it with RCS that is rectangular coordinate system but the drawing is not like this I have a drawing like this Like I have this point and I have this point and I have a distance, I have a distance of 10. We'll see about that later whether it is inches, millimeters or centimeters. Now we have a value here. We don't have the coordinate points here. So this, for example, I can give 2,6 or 3,9 also. Here I have this. This clearly specify that we have to use PCS. Polar coordinate system. Okay. Now, same thing. So, this is PCS. Polar coordinate system. If we know 
the distance and angle. Whenever in a drawing, the given drawing, the distance is specified, the angle is specified in the sense we have to follow a system called polar coordinate system. If they have not specified any distance, any angle, they have given only the coordinate points, we have to follow rectangular coordinate system. Okay, But most of our 2D drawings will be in PCS. When it comes to 3D, we will go for RCS. But 95% of the drawings will be in polar coordinate system because all the drawings will be given it in the like this format. So values will be given either feet or inches or anything. Okay, And whatever the drawing which is drawn on the paper, the manually with a pencil or anything, if you are doing in AutoCAD, we will call it as drafting okay remember this word we'll call it as a drafting and people who are designing in autocad or working in only in autocad particularly they'll call it as a drafting also okay so when you go into an industry like for an interior designing exterior designing anything they will not ask you something like do this drawing and give it to me they'll ask you a word called draft it and give it so these technical words you have to remember okay so these methods either you please note it down or just have a screenshot okay cleared till this any confusions or any clarifications Clear, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now we'll see about the drawing, how we see. Now, for example, we have this PCS. I said that distance and angle. Now have a line as I written it is 10 now this is a and this is B now for us we know that this is 10 we have a distance but how AutoCAD can understand which is distance and which is angle and we need to find out angle for this okay so if you remember your this is local origin O and this is 0 and this is 90 and this is 180 and this is 270 anyone remember this coordinate system so this helps us bit to find out an angle and everything okay now we are starting from A and we are starting ending at B. So here A to B. So here we will work more with commands. Now think this A is local origin O. That means the starting point. This local origin O. Here if I draw a dotted line. So line is drawing towards this you can see this is 0 and here it's 180 and here it's 90 and the bottom is 270 so it's clearly indicates that we are drawing towards 0 so the command will be distance is 10 first and angle is 0 degree but how to specify 10 or 0 we have at the rate symbol and we have less than symbol please remember these two symbols this is to indicate angle and this is to indicate 
just to indicate the distance and this is to indicate an angle now command should be like this at the rate 10 that is distance less than 0 same way if I am drawing ulta towards like B to A at the rate 10 now B is a starting point and it local origin O now this comes to this point again Now this is 0, this is 90 and this is 180. So less than 180. So always this starting point plays a major role. Here A is a starting point and here B is a starting point. Cleared or any confusions? cleared till this how to specify the angle how to specify the distance which symbols has to be used yes sir everyone yes sir yes sir okay so let's Take one small uh, example. I, think I have taken like this. I think this is A, and B, C, and D. So this is 80, and this is 60. A to B, B to C, C to D, then we have another line D to A. Can you just tell me the commands? A to B, what should be the command at the rate? 80. Okay, 80. Angle? 0 degree. Yes. B to C? At 60, hmm? 90 degrees. C to D? 80 and 180 no. degrees. D to A? 60. Two seventy degrees. Is everyone agreed with this? Is this correct? Yes, sir. So, if anyone has a doubt in between, please ask in between only. Don't postpone that doubt. If you are getting confused or if you're getting if you're not getting anything, just ask. I'll repeat it. Okay. Oh, we'll just go for one more then. I have this. Okay. Now this I'll give the value. This is 20. And this is 100. And this is 40. 
and again this is 20. Now tell me the commands A to B 20 only 20 at, at 20 okay less than 0 degree okay B to C at 100 okay less than 90 degree Okay. C to D will be at C to 60. D. How 60? 40 plus 20. Yeah. See, this is 40 and this distance, we have it 20. So, 40 plus 20, 60. Angle? Uh, less, than, less than 180 degree. Okay. D to E hmm. at 20 less hmm. than uh, 270 degree. Okay, then E to F. E to, e to F at 40, 0 degree. Hmm. 0. Yeah. F to A. F to A uh, at 80. 100 minus 20, it is 80. 80 less than 270. Is this okay with everyone? Is this correct? The commands? So cleared? Any doubts with this? example I have this how about this take your time I'll give you some two two minutes or three minutes time tell me the commands now I'll give that value 10 10 and 10 now I need the commands for this so just tell me the commands think and tell because till now we are working with the straight lines now we have a broad, sorry, slanted line. What will be the A to B and what will be the B to C and what will be the C to A? A to B I'll only tell you at the rate 10 less than 0. So how about B to C and C to A? <clears throat> At 10 less than 120. Yeah, how 120? Can you explain? It looks like equilateral triangle. <clears throat> okay. Oh. It may come between 90 and 120. So it will be one, 90 and 180. So it will be 120. Okay, how... How about C to A? C to A will be uh, 240. No, it's wrong. <clears throat> See, uh, we'll just uh, move on to something like this itself. 
so think the line is like b to c somewhere it's lying between 90 and 180 okay this is which one we had we don't know and c to a also it's somewhere lying between 180 and 270 so 230 is wrong so take your time just 210 no. sorry 210 na yes uh, no ma strong think let others also think so i'll give you 2 minutes time just think about it Is it 145? I mean, no, 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 245? No, it's not Any other answer? Is it 120? Yeah, B to C is 120, correct? Two forty. Ah, B to C or C to A? Uh, C to A. See here, B to C. It's lying somewhere between ninety and one eighty. Here we have a small formula. If you remember the school times. Uh, or 10 standard 360 divided by number of sites okay 360 divided by number of sites we have so 360 divided by 3 we have a simple calculation it is 120 and the next value here you can double it here 120 and here 10 just 120 plus 120 we have 240 okay so in the same manner uh, can you just kindly try it for for uh, five sites We take the same distance. I'll take 10. This starts from A. Again, this B, C, D, E. 
use the same formula 360 divided by number of sites all the sites are 10 anyone just answer A to B at 10 less than 0. Correct. B to C. See, uh, all, remember the previous drawing, starting point. See here, in this drawing, A is a starting point. That means local origin O. B is a starting point and C is a starting point. Here for the B to C, the drawing or the line somewhere lies between 0 and 90, somewhere here. B to C will be at 10 less than 72. Yes, correct. C to D. Kindly everyone try it because it requires for the upcoming drawings and classes. C to D at 10 less than 144. Okay, correct. D to E at 10 less than 216. 216, yes, correct. E to A at 10 less than 288. Yes, correct. Is everyone agree with that? Okay, see, I'll just have a note if you want A to B, same at the rate 10 less than 0, B to C, at the rate 10 less than 72, next C to D at the rate 10 less than 72 plus 72 
10 less than 144 plus 72. So 216. Next, e to a. 10 less than 288. Okay. Is this cleared? Any doubts till this? So shall we go ahead? Okay, so these are the prerequisite which we need before entering up to an AutoCAD or before drawing in AutoCAD. Okay, only thing is that in which direction line is going and what angle we have to specify, what distance and what symbols we have to use. Only this much you take care. Okay, we don't need much more maths and all. Only this much is enough for that. Okay, now we just uh, move on to AutoCAD. Just click on AutoCAD. And by default, AutoCAD will not be installed in any one of the system. It's not an inbuilt application. It's a paid version. We have to use it in any application with license. So what you can do is in your systems today itself just go to autodesk.com okay this is the website so I'm putting it up here autodesk.com remember this or have a screenshot in this here you can just visit the Indian website also or just scroll down till the end and here we have student and educator we have okay go to this section under this just scroll down okay and here you just click on the learn more So here we have a link that confirm your eligibility to access an education plan. Click on the get products. Kindly note down the steps or follow that. Click on the get products. Because as a student, They'll give you a free license for two years, which you can use it. Okay, under this, select a section called AutoCAD, click on Get Started. Okay, and here it requires for the sign in. Just don't sign in, just create your account. So here you have this. I don't create the account now, just uh, see the steps and I have to do 
after the class you just follow that and here you just choose uh, country and education role we have a student and here the institution type you have higher secondary or university or any post secondary if you are doing and just choose it and just enter the following information and just click on next you can start downloading an autocad in your system okay If you want this complete link, I'll put it up in the chat box also. You can just copy paste that. Under this, select this. Here you have different Mac versions also there, and AutoCAD is also there. And next upcoming subject, what you are learning is 3ds Max. This is also there. You can download it now itself, and you can keep it. Keep it. Now, after downloading and installing the AutoCAD. This will be the screen which you will get in the very first look. These are the recently worked documents which is available in AutoCAD which I have done recently. And here I have some options open file, open a sheet set and get more templates. And here also we have a predefined template. See acat.dwd if you are doing for 3D, if I am doing it for architectural. Okay. So if I'm doing it for civil, different templates are there. So we'll see about the templates later. As of now, let it be default ACAD, that is AutoCAD.DWT. So now this is a working area of AutoCAD. So in this, the first command, we'll see about that customization. Before that, here we have a working area. So now this portion, is called as a ribbons like we have a home insert annotate and parametric and view manage and everything so what you do is here if you find the setting icon in the very bottom click this and here we have some three options drafting annotation 3d basic and 3d modeling okay so that is we called as a ui or uh, user interface we have drafting and annotation 3d basics 3d modeling so these are the three user interface we have so by default, it will be in drafting annotation, which will be used only for 2D drawings. So 3D basic with a very basic level of 3D modeling, we can do it up in this. So in 3D modeling, the complete detailed level of 3D modeling, it may be house or it may be machine model, anything. So we will be do it up in 3D modeling. Okay. These two are commonly used. 3D basics is very less used. We'll see one by one. So we'll start up with this drafting and annotation and click this. See if I change this 3D modeling, the whole user interface will change. Now we have a box, we have extrude and other stuffs. And if you click here, I'll come back to drafting and annotation. Now I have a different options. So as I said, let us begin with drafting and annotation. So let it be there. This is a working area and this is the grid we have. And this is a command panel, whatever I type. So it will be executed in the command panel. See if I'm entering the wrong, wrong command, it's showing an unknown command. Okay, so I can just, this is floating in the window, so I can just fix it up, I can put it up to the bottom, see, now, 
can see we have an icon here x and y so this icon this with local origin on we have a green line and we have a red line so red line indicates that it's an x origin and y line indicates that it's a y plane so this icon we call it as qcs icon okay remember these words qcs icon UCS stands for User Coordinate System. Okay, User Coordinate System. We can turn it off. We can we can turn it on. But what is the use of that? I'll tell you. So type the command UCS icon. Enter. Now we got a list. Just turn it off. You want to get it back? UCS icon on okay. and for zoom in and zoom out use the mouse scroll zoom out and you can zoom in and the working color always it will be black in some versions it will be gray so we won't use any white colors here because of the contrast to change that we have a command called preferences okay This is basically used for the customization. Okay. So type the command. References. We'll get this dialog box appeared. Here we have a display section over here. And here we have a color scheme. Something like theme. We have a light. Change it. Apply. You can see everything is changed. The whole UI into a light. Go to dark. Click on apply. We have this. And here we have a colors. Click on this. Here I have. So black. So let us take white. Click on apply. Okay. You can see. Whatever you draw, it will be in black color and the background will be in white color. You can choose it up to any color. If I want cyan, I can take cyan. Or I can just get it back to the black. Okay. And here I have another section called fonts. Whatever you are seeing in the command panel, those text fonts. Now I'll change this to another font of font size more and let it be bold. Apply. Can okay, see in the command panel it's completely changed. So I'll change some very light font. Now it's a bit clear. You can see in this section. Okay, and the mouse pointer shows an indication of plus symbol, so that is called as crosshair. Crosshair, the mouse symbol we call it as a crosshair. Even that we can change. Here you have the crosshair size under the preferences. Just I have 5, if I increase it to some 35, click on apply. Okay. Because what happens whenever I'm working with the larger measurement drawings, it requires to be increased. So whenever I'm working with the small scale drawings, it needs to be decreased. For that, we have a crosshair adjustments we have. So let us keep 5, that is the default value. Now, let us draw the drawing which we wrote commands. So before drawing, so I didn't say anything like units for the drawing which we wrote the command. I just I randomly I gave the value 10, I 10 gave 20, I gave 80, I gave 60 like that. So that whole drawings we were, I was giving in inches. Okay. 
so how to specify the units in autocad so this is very important and every drawing mandatorily we need to set the units okay units is a mandatory command for each and every file before you draw so type the command units units here we have this dialog box and under this we have a type decimal architectural engineering fractional scientific so based on our requirement we can take but most of our drawing will be in decimal as of now we'll do we'll so do it in decimal architecture and all we'll come back to it upcoming sessions decimal so precision any idea about this So what is it? Sorry. Rounding to the nearest. For the decimal value. Yes. Okay. Anyone else? Okay, we're just rounding up to the nearest value, it's not accurately, but here after the point, that means the decimal, how many decimal values to be counted? See, we have 0 0.1, 0 0.11, 0 0.111, so like that, how many values it has to be counted? So we have to use. So in today's drawing, we are not drawn any decimal values. So for that case, I'll take zero. If you have any decimal values, you can just take up as per the requirement. Okay. Now I'll take 0. Now we have an insertion scale. Click on this. And here I have this unit less, inches, feet. This is very important. The insertion scale. Which units you are doing it. Whether I am doing in mm, I can just take it as millimeter. Or if I am doing in feet, I can take it in feet. So let us take in inches. Now just click on OK. Now, the units are set to inches. Whatever I draw, a line or circle or a rectangle, any shapes, it will be in inches. Okay. If I want to convert that into millimeter, we don't have any options. We need to redraw it again. So, that's why units plays a major role. It's a mandatory command. Do it with units. Okay. Without setting the units, don't start a drawing. Is that clear till this? Any doubts or any clarifications you wanted? You have to replay either in replay in chat box or just unmute and speak. Cleared till this. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now the first command is line. Okay. The command is L. First L enter, L enter, automatically this will execute here line. So in the command panel it is asking me that specify the first point, okay. Just click anywhere on the screen. So this will be our first point. Now I can just enter it at the rate 10 less than 0, enter. Okay. 
can see we have a line of 10 inches. Same way, L enter, click, at the rate 10 less than 270. Still, it's attached with that. Press escape to exit from the tool. Okay. So we delete this. Let us do the first drawing. Click on this. At the rate 80 less than 0. If you have written the command, just see that. Rate 60 less than 90. Rate 80 less than 180. So we have only one value to be given that is at the rate 60 less than 270 I can specify the value or I can give C enter C stands for close C enter okay I'll give you the steps once have a note command L after that So I'll enter after that click on the screen to select the first point after that enter the command at the rate 80 less than 0 enter at the rate 60 less than 90 at the rate 80 less than 180 then you can type C enter C stands for close. Okay, so if, you, if you follow these things, you'll get these drawing. So this you need to draw after setting the units. Right? Same way. Let us take the problem to command L. Click on the screen to pick the puffs point. Now at the rate 20 less than 0. Sixty less than 180. At the rate 20 less than 270. Rate 40 less than 0. If you follow these steps, see, I'll repeat it. So I'll just select this. It's a combination of four lines one, two, three, four. Delete. Now I'll enter. Click at the rate 20 less than zero. We have our first line. If it is too small, you can scroll it for zoom in and zoom out. At the rate 100 less than 90. At the rate 60 less than 180. At the rate 20 less than 270. less than 0 the last line you can give close or I can specify the value see at the rate 80 less than 270 if to exit from the tool So any doubts in drawing?
same way as we did so l enter we'll take 100 less than 0 at the rate 100 less than 120 Get close Rate hundred less than zero. I'll take six sides. We wrote the command for five sides, right? So three sixty divided by six. So go on, tell me the commands. Six sides for hexagon. Three sixty divided by six. Is my voice is audible? Yes, sir. Yeah, can you just tell me the commands for six sites? This. A to B like that. If I take this value as 100, all the sides, what will be the angles? So have a reference of the previous drawing. A to B at 100 okay. less than 0. B to C yes. at 100 less than yes. 60. Okay. C to D at 100. Less than 120. Okay, right. D to E at 100 less than 180. Okay. E to F at 100, mm. less than 240. Okay. okay. Next, directly I can give the last command. Close. Okay. So now to save this, just we don't have any file options here. We have a standard button, just this or Control S, or we have a CAD button over here at the top. Just click on this, click on Save. It will save in the extension of .dwg. Okay. AutoCAD file extension is .dwg. It's nothing but the drawing. 
ओके सो एक्सटेंशन इज डॉट डी डब्ल्यू जी ऑटो कैट फाइल एक्सटेंशन विल बी लाइक एनी फाइल नेम फॉलोड बाई डॉट डी डब्ल्यू जी डी डब्ल्यू जी स्टैंड फॉर ड्रॉइंग सो नाउ आई स्टॉप इट फॉर टूडे सो बिफोर ending up today's session so let me know that if you have any doubts or if you have any clarifications if anybody is confused or if you are not following up so let me know i'll clear it then i'll go for the next session that is tomorrow so either Excuse you can me, put sir? it up in the chat box yeah still ma'am sir uh, while downloading this auto autocad it is asking uh -huh. to upload uh, additional documents yeah you like need to upload your additional documents like confirmation letter and student id yes only id we card is enough any student id yet uh okay if you are not got your id card you can just download a trial version how do we do that just go for autodesk website and here you have the products under the product section here I have a started trial click on that and here which one you want to try so just select autocad and you can just click on free download so it will be for 30 days okay if you don't have any id card from the college if you're not got your id card you can just download the trial version okay and this url also i'll just put it up in the chat box for everyone just copy it from the chat box i guess okay if you are already have an id card upload it and you can download it otherwise just download the free trial for 30 days all the options everything will be working any other doubts So no doubts to anyone. So today itself, you just download it, this application, and try it these drawings by next class, so that we can go for the next drawings on tomorrow. Okay, and after the doing the drawing, we have an application like uh, if you go for. have the google play store go for autocad here you have okay in this i can't create any drawing this is an official autocad app for the mobile for android phones but in this we can edit the drawings now for example i have done the drawing now this file i'll give it to you if you want to edit this now for example i need to change this position or i need to edit this so i can do it up in app okay but in application we can't able to create a new drawing that is a drawback of this only we can edit the drawings so for creating the new drawings just download it to free trial and use it i guess everyone is using from pc right is anyone is attending from mobile or any tablet
how many of you are attending from laptop or pc excuse me sir yes ma'am uh sir i attended from my phone but i work it on my laptop simultaneously is okay. that fine yeah it's fine no issues okay just have a practice tomorrow we'll just move on to the next drawings is it fine yes sir yes sir yeah thank you before winding up also if you have any doubts you can ask